we get pushing. <laughs> I think we can do it. Oh, we're going backwards. It's the wrong way. There she is. Let's see, that was the fun part. Because the wheels are straight on that car. They're not on that car. Even though this one has nothing in it, this one will be way harder to push because of the alignments. The tires are just kind of chewing in on each other. So, we're going to have to cut camera for this one. A little out of breath, but Managed to get the car, what's the way in? Lined it up real good, a good running start. Car frame ride her in as hard as I could. Threw a wheel chalk under the tire before she kicked back forward down out the ramp. Set up a little ratch come along setup. And I'm just gonna crank her all the way in now. Who needs CrossFit? You just do work every day. Not the most efficient, but when you're by yourself, you gotta get creative. All in a day's work. The last thing we're gonna do is prep this hood. This is my 2017 hood so that it can get repaired. Some of the scrapes from the Irwindale hit. Um, the guys at Sam's will be able to take this, sand it down, buff it up, clean it up, you know, patch this little crack here, and then give it a fresh clear coat on this Sabon dry carbon fiber hood. Super lightweight, super awesome. But first I'm gonna drill out these blown out hood pin mounts, these APR carbon vents to get some of that heat out of the engine bay. Drill all that stuff out so, and then I'll also remove all the stickers so that these guys can just work more efficiently. You know, don't wanna give them more work than they already have to do, so. Hood is stripped down, prepped up, ready to go to Sam's. All the stickers are off, all the riveted pieces are off. And uh, I didn't see Turk around this time to help me pull all these stickers off. I vaguely remember pulling all the stickers off of his race car. Not, uh, not anywhere to be seen, so maybe he'll help next time. No big deal. Off to Sam's, let's do it. Sam's Auto Land, here we are. We have been having our cars painted here in this building for, I don't know, it's been 11 years now. It's been over 10 years. Um, but yeah, one of the coolest parts about this is the, the wall, all the crash damage parts, all the way from, you know, you got my bumper on there from 2013. You got a fender and a side screw for me from 2007. Turk's door from 2007 as well. Uh, some. Tony Angelo parts and uh, a little bit of everything. They've been repairing these cars and keeping them 100% for a very long time for us and for a few of the other drivers as well. But um, let's uh, get this thing unstrapped, pushed inside, drop off a couple of the panels like this baked quarter panel, get this thing cleaned up, scuffed up, re clear coated, and she'll be good as new as well. And somewhere around here is Ryan Turk's car. So I guess I will be picking that up and transporting that. 
and taking that over to the shop. Unload that. Hopefully not by myself, but I've only said they're out of town. So it's gonna get interesting. Just made it with Brian's car. I heard he just left. I left. Yeah. Well, left. just I in time. He been in here. Just in time. I you he know. Been yeah. In here. No. No. Jokes on you, man. No. He uh, is not here. So we're just gonna unload this thing and shove it inside. There it is. Beep. What up, dudes? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> get it. There you go. That's better. Uh, yeah. You gonna do some work for? Ryan Turk? I already have been. Right. What's it look like? Are we gonna get to the see thing is, is he pays really well, so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard. So, yeah. I mean, like, I just keep clocking my hours. I just can't wait for that paycheck to come in. But, get in, uh, get in line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this thing's gonna look sick. Like we said, like white on white in the new office, garage, that's new good. everything. You got some headlights. Yeah, it's got plenty more headlights. As if you guys were concerned about that not being enough, don't worry, there's about eight more in this car. So, I don't know why, but they're all in there. He's a big headlight guy. Yeah, sure is. All right, let's unload this stupid thing. This looks like it. does look good, though. It's yeah. the nicest this car has looked in a long time. A long time. It sure does. How much of, like, stuff did you cut off of this? Um, well, I, I didn't take too much off. Like, um, it was like, the intercooler bracket that was here, like, cut that off, smoothed it out, and then, um, just took the rest of it all apart and then kind of, like, prepped it for paint, took the brakes, um, Torching valves and all the lines off and things like that, but looks good. You know, all the stickers, all the bodywork, all the stuff. It looks good, man. You had to paint because you know Sam's is awesome, but they don't want to deal with all of our all of our crap. So if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna get sweet paint work, you gotta bring a car that's ready for paint. That's uh, that's kind of the deal. But on the work, everyone works for Turk. Alright, send her home. Alright. Huh? Oh, we got have a truck. <laughs> Safety first, dude! Safety third. Yeah, we don't have brakes, so. Actually, the brake might work. She's sending it. I'm so glad you guys are here. <laughs> I was fully expecting to be by myself. <laughs> that would have sucked. Yeah. I had to load my car into this trailer by myself. Huh. Not the first time. Hold on, let's take a cool picture. Yeah, yeah we need to clear this out and then make it all super mint. Like a little go kart. Shine his window and put it in the shop. As is that sounds like a lot more work. Yeah. <laughs> Have at it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm up here, I need to grab a couple other things. Um, since everything lives in the rig, of course. Uh, as you can see, lots of spare parts. So, getting the rest of the pieces for the engine to ship out. And um, a couple pieces of suspension that we gotta go through, checking our spares, making sure that we have everything we need. Put together an order from Rudy 13, fill those gaps. But um, yeah, that's why you make lists. You gotta write everything down. So when you make big trips like this, you go to regular, you don't forget anything. Because I did last time. <laughs> 